Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these eating well meals. This is the steak carne asada. It is grilled beef steak and brown rice in a rojo, 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 I don't know, sauce with corn, red peppers, and black beans. Um, cilantro lime, lime sauce. Not going to say that word again. I hate to say it, but it doesn't even look appealing to me, honestly. It looks like somebody already ate it, but um, I don't know why they put that in the picture, but anyway. Um, made, I'm sure it looks really good once it's made, if that's what it looks like around there. That looks really good. That just kind of looks awful. Anyway, 18 grams of protein, um, no preservatives, no artificial flavors or colors, made with all natural beef, one cup of vegetables, that's good. Um, it is a, where's the size at here? Uh, 10 ounce meal or 283 grams. This was uh, bought at Target for $2.95 and I think they sell them other places. I just can't remember where it's at. Um, it's got a fresh seal for freshness. Um, there's another description of what you're going to eat. Good source of iron. So it is 330 calories, which I don't think is too bad. Uh, it's a decent sized meal for 330. I don't, I don't think it's too bad at all. Everything else looks pretty decent too. So keep frozen until you're ready to eat it. And it doesn't have oven direction. It's just got microwave directions. So we're going to remove it from the carton. Do not puncture or remove the film. You got to leave it on there. Cook on high for five to five and a half minutes. So it's going to take a little while at first. The film may be ballooned slightly from the steam, I'm sure. Um, open the film just a little bit, enough for you to stir it up. So basically just lift, the, lift it on the corner, stir it up, and then put the cover back on, the plastic back on. Microwave on high for another minute to a minute and a half. So I'll probably do the first time for five and I might do a minute, minute and a half for the second time. We'll see what it's like. And then leave it for three minutes um, once it's done. Let's see. Full time. Yeah. That's what I thought that it didn't, didn't rip all the way across. Okay. There's what it looks like. You can see it's uh, like vacuum sealed, which is good. So I'm going to, um, I guess it doesn't look too bad once you get out of the package. I don't know. Just anyway, um, I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the microwave and uh, it smells really good. I can say that. It smells like a, like a burrito almost like a, I don't know, or like a, one of the bowls that like a Qdoba or Chipotle. That's what it kind of smells like. It smells uh, um, somewhat spicy. So I'm going to... Uh, let this cool off because it's supposed to set i think it said three minutes so i'm gonna let it set i may not let it sit that long but i'll let it set a little bit stir it up really good and uh i'll be back all right it's had a little time to cool off hopefully it's had enough so here's the bite i'm gonna take first um it's beans and rice and meat you get corn i see onions in there it's got red and green peppers in there um i'm sure there's other stuff in there that i just it's all mixed together so i really can't tell i can't tell it has any mushrooms or anything although i love a mushroom but um, it's probably not a, um, a Mexican-themed meal with mushrooms. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. And you, you can, um, you get a little hint of a, the smell of lime. When you eat it, you get a little hint of lime, too. The meat's good. It's, it's, um, it's a little spice to the whole thing. I'm sure it's that sauce has got a little spice to it. The flavor of the meat is really good. It's it's pretty tender. I mean, it's not like melt in your mouth uh, tender, but it is good and tender, especially for a microwave meal. It's, it's really good. The texture is really good. So I don't have any problems with that. The beans are seem to be cooked well. Hold on. If you've watched this channel any length of time, you know I don't like really hard beans. I like them a little soft. So here's three. Let's try. Mm, those are perfect. They're um, they're good and tender, but you still got um, that really good flavor of them. So um, I like these. These are good. Again, the meat, it's a pretty tender um, steak for a microwave meal. So I like this meal. For me, I almost wish it didn't have the lime in it. Um, that's just a personal preference. And there's something in there that's a little firm and I think it's the grains the either the rice or whatever kind of grain they're using brown rice um was it just brown rice mm, brown rice some of that brown rice is a little um 
it's not hard like and crunchy, but it's it's very firm. If you don't mind that, you'll probably be okay. It's it's a little off-putting to me because I most of the other stuff is fairly soft, and then you get these kind of almost to the point of being crunchy pieces of rice. And it's a little weird. The corn is also a little tough. Hold on, let me try just corn. No, it's fine. I'm just getting the I'm getting the pieces of rice in there that are are kind of firm. Well, flavor-wise, I love it. I love the flavor. It's really, really good. The you get a pretty decent amount of food for 330 calories. I mean, I've eaten I've eaten quite a bit of it already, and there's still a ton left. Um, the steak is good and tender. The texture of the steak is really good. The flavors overall are really good. You get a little bit of a heat to it. It's not overpoweringly hot to where you, it's not enjoyable to eat, but it is spicy. So if you don't like spicy food, you wouldn't get this. But if you don't mind a little bit of a little bit of tingle in the back of your throat, you'll be perfectly fine with this. Um, the beans are cooked well. They're good and soft. Like I said, really my only complaint is, for me, it's got a little bit too much lime in it, but you know, you're going into this meal, it says lime, you know it's there. Um, and it's not off-putting amount of lime it's just for me personally i'd rather not have it at all um and the rice is just a little firm or a little little hard for me beyond that those two things this is perfect so i'm going to give it a four definitely a meal worth trying out ignore the the awful look through the window it looks looks horrible i think it looks like it's already been eaten but um but once it's cooked and it's mixed together it is really good so um so anyway i hope you get these in your area you can try them out pick the flavor you like there's there's a bunch of them out there there's at least four or five that i've seen uh different flavors different styles so get whatever you want try it out i think you'd be happy with it. so hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching